Mitsubishi Electric decided to run the apprenticeship scheme because there wasn't the right quality, the right blood coming through into the industry. So the apprentice scheme is a way of helping people into the industry and hopefully produce a much better engineer at the end of it. Over the years I've employed many apprentices. The applicants that we now get, it's, it takes a lot of the, uh, the pressure off of us in terms of the application process. The way the whole scheme is set up is completely different from before. Um, so that what it means for us is that a lot of the administration has been taken away from us so um, we can spend more time on training rather than signing um, sheets of paper endlessly and um, it, it's worked very well. This industry has become fragmented over the years and it's very important to get good quality engineers coming through. It's all about best practice. I didn't know anything about air conditioning before I started working here. I now find myself looking up at air conditioning <laughs> when I go into shops and seeing whether it's dirty or not and whether it's working correctly. At first when I went out on maintenance I was with a skilled engineer and it was a little bit of hoovering filters and learning how the equipment worked. I've been mainly doing service so just going to going to call outs where things aren't working, trying to diagnose what's wrong, fitting parts, doing maintenances and things like that. Becky's coming to the end of her first year in training and um, she's heading in, in the right direction in a lot of ways. She's just had an excellent result from college, which we're very proud. And um, she's also becoming, close to becoming an engineer that we can start to send out uh, on her own. Well, I've definitely become a lot more practical, even though I liked being hands-on before. I've learned technical skills. Brazen's definitely one of them, I'd say. It's a big part in the industry and the job. Pressure testing of units um, on the job I've done a lot of. It's um, one of the things that you sort of first learn, to be honest, especially when you're doing jobs like compressor changes and if you've got a leak and you need to find it on a unit, you need to pressure test. Well, Will's been here for about a year now. Um, he's been a great asset to the company. The main benefits that the apprentices get these days, like Will, um, is, the, is the three elements of training. Um, they get the element of, of being in the workplace, working out on the tools with experienced engineers. The second being the, the college, where they get obviously experience from the, from the lecturers and the guidance obviously led legislation, the same as we do on, uh, at, at work. Third is the training they get through Mitsubishi on their equipment. What I found useful at college is learning like, the, the theory side of it, um, how each component works, what it does, um, and then on site the, it's more of sort of like practical hands on actually doing it, so whether it's like changing a compressor, doing the brazing, just learning about, about different sites and what the, or, like, the health and safety things for example. They keep sort of like keep an eye on you, make sure you're going to the college on time, make sure you're going in, make sure you're getting into work. Uh, make sure you haven't got any problems at work or at college. Becky can stay on the service side to give her a better grounding. It's likely that she will spend at least some of the time in the apprenticeship installing as well. The industry's definitely gotten me into lots of different areas that I wouldn't have thought I'd have been in before. And um, probably the biggest one that um, we do aircon art is the um, Hollyoak site actually. We do the air conditioning there which I went to for the first time not long after I joined and it's a bit funny seeing all the actors and actresses walk around and yeah, it's definitely got me into a few places I never thought I'd go to but yeah, it's a whole different world. I, I, I really like, enjoy obviously getting paid while learning how to do, how to do a trade. I've been quite into quite a lot of gyms, doing a lot of quite a lot of aircon sort of servicing, uh, maintenance, and then doing stuff in like bakeries, for example, and like for a fridge kit, so like in cold rooms. Uh, probably one of the most uh, weird weird places that I've worked in is in a mortuary in a hospital in the cold rooms in there, which is pretty pretty strange place to work. Thankfully, they're empty at the time. I'd say for advice for other apprentice people for thinking about to do apprenticeships is to just make sure you ask loads of questions. Um, you, it's, not, it's not given to you. As soon as you get the apprenticeship, you've got to actually work to, to get all the information and to, well, to show willing, show that you're capable of doing tasks and following instructions. In my view, going back 20, 30 years, the wrong thing to do was to abolish or, get, or run down apprenticeships. Um, so it's been a, a pet hobby of mine that apprenticeships should be up and running again and, and um, I'm delighted that they are because there's been a big void in training um, and it's worthy. 
think it's very important that people gain appropriate qualifications um, and serve a, a set amount of time actually training on jobs. And um, that's obviously what apprenticeship's about. Happily, Mitsubishi have recognised that and um, taken the bull by the horns, as they say, and um, hopefully uh, ongoing training um, will lead to a better industry. The equipment, especially at the moment, because obviously the, uh, the performance uh, levels that they're trying to achieve, um, they develop so quickly that continuing training and, uh, and guidance from the manufacturers is key. It is great having the, uh, the apps on the smartphones these days, but all the engineers and apprentices still need to have sort of hands-on experience and training from the manufacturers. The, the whole idea behind running these courses for the apprentices is to give them that little bit extra to gel together what they learn at college through a bespoke course which has been put together especially for them, which is showing them the techniques to use to get the information that they need. Also, the, the, the ethos at Mitsubishi is we offer lots of training and with, with the apprentices, what we're trying to do is help them to better those skills. Because if they don't know how the machine should look when it's running well, how do they know what it's going to look like when it's not?